first day here in Madrid, guys. Uh, I landed about 8 a.m. I've been here for about four hours now. I think I really need to brush back up on my Spanish because like uh, a lot of people here uh, speak English, but you know, it's definitely some lost in translation here, so. So I haven't really had any sleep for about uh probably say I've been awake for almost 24 hours now. I had like three hours nap on a plane, maybe two at most actually. Um, can't go wrong with an Americano. Start off the day. It's been a very interesting first hour here in Madrid, Spain for me. Uh, I definitely did not prepare this time like I normally would where I would take my pleasure courses and actually learn the local language because I haven't spoken Spanish in a long time but um yeah I'm actually going around right now trying to find some food and uh I'm gonna try to find some tapas you know see what all this tapas life is about that's what I came to Spain for This check out this view here. Wow, this view. Guys, back to the hotel, and uh, I am going to bust an OG uh, Spanish siesta uh, because. Yeah, I flew on a plane from New York at 7 p.m. and uh, I have not slept yet, so I am just gonna take a 30 minute siesta and we'll go grab some tapas after that. Just woke up from my siesta. So tonight we're gonna go watch some flamenco. This place was given a Michelin star, so I'm assuming the food's gonna be really good. And we're gonna get to watch a flamenco show. Uh, guys, this soup tastes like Starburst, man. It's amazing. Two in Madrid, guys. Um, it'll be a slow day today. We're doing a lot of errands. Uh, I figure I'd kind of slow down and catch up. Um, doing some laundry, so I just dropped all the clothes in the laundromat. And uh, found a really cool cafe down the street called uh, Bow Coffee. And uh, we're doing a cold brew right now. Can't go wrong with cold brew coffee. So one of the managers here just showed me the coffee beans. 
So they're nice enough to prep us some latte here. Coffee beans are being filled into the press. A good espresso pour lasts about 24 to 30 seconds. We see the espresso bean being passed out of the machine. <laughs> Two beautiful latte cups here with some beautiful latte art on there. Beautiful rainy night in Madrid, guys. The uh, rain is starting to come down right now. We have two more nights to go. You know, uh, tonight I experienced my first tapas. And uh, wow, what an experience, man. I wish we had tapas in America. You know, that's uh, one of my wishes. To come back to America, maybe we should just start a tapas bar in America, right? Uh, first time experiencing rain in Madrid. It's actually pretty kind of cool. Um, got a great time at my first tapas at 29 uh, Banegas. Oh, man, you guys are ever in Madrid, dude? Check it out. I'll put that in the link. Uh, 29 Banegas. Um, yeah, I had a great experience there. Uh, bartender was super dope, even though he didn't speak English. But me and him, we met, we managed to speak Spanglish with each other. It was the greatest time ever. Um, but yeah, the owner actually speaks English, so that's kind of cool. And I'm um, headed back to the hotel, I'm gonna call it a night, but a uh, successful second night in Madrid. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned, follow, subscribe, and we'll see what's up. Such a beautiful city. Definitely gonna come back here. Awesome. Back at the Intercontinental Madrid, I'm gonna call it a night. Hope to see you guys in the next one.